Patrick Riggins Show. Call in now, 865-243-TALK. That's 243-8255. And now your host, Patrick Riggins. And uh, another week has gone by. And you are once again listening to the most informative, most reasoned, most logical radio show on the dial today. It is none other than the Patrick Riggin Show right here on the Libertarian Lighthouse Radio Network. We are riding along on the 100,000 watt carrier wave being radiated from the radio station currently serving as the flagship of this show, 100.3 WNOX. It is located here on scenic Kingston Pike in Knoxville, Tennessee. If you'd like to peruse the luxurious and well-appointed studios but are unable to stop by during the week, you can pull up your web browser and type in the address for the station website. That being www.wnoxfm.com. There you can watch and listen to this show being broadcast live. And we always do it live. No pre-recording here. But you can watch us live here in the WNOX studio. Making more sense than anything else you will hear on the radio or television all week. That web address again if you're needing it is wnoxfm.com. Speaking of sensible and rational people. Let's say hello to Tori, our show uh, producer. I know you're not <laughs> talking about me. <laughs> yeah. Everything's kind of running an hour behind today. Yes, I am. That's for sure. <laughs> That's Everything's been in a just a funky little groove today, I guess. It's well, I noticed our accurate and precise station clock is not set correctly. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the wall. Yes. The one I go by is, though, it's... Yeah, I've been leaving mics on today during breaks and just, I, yeah, just a bit. And I guess I needed that extra hour of sleep. Well, when I look up, I think, <laughs> oh, surely the station clock would be moved forward <laughs> because because we run the. Sh- of course, the minutes are still the same, but <laughs> that just was does, interesting. Just don't look see. at that clock up there; you'll be fine. Just don't look at the hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's make that announcement again this uh, this week about your um, gig coming up. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Beat Club, uh, formerly the Invaders, is called Beat Club. Now, we are playing at the Crowning Goose this Saturday night. Uh, we'll be going on stage around 9 o'clock that night, playing until probably about 2 or so, something like that. And then we're playing Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. We go on stage about 6.30. at 6.30 in the evening. I don't know why so early, but... Come on by. We'll be playing about 6.30 till about 9.30, I guess. So that's Thursday and Friday, the Beat Club. Is that this Saturday? Yeah, that's this this coming weekend. <laughs> Night. Boy, it is. We're halfway through March. <laughs> I sit there thinking, that's that's a week from now. <laughs> yeah, Boy, yeah uh, it, it's the 10th today. Yeah. yeah that's the old uh, mortgage check in the, in the mail, that's the 10th. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, boy, this month is going by quickly. But to the time change, it's going to be an hour sunlight later today, so that's great. I love it when it stays daylight till about 9 o'clock at night. Plus, it's warm. Ah, oh, the warmth. Yes. Not freezing like it was last year. The only week. thing I hate is it's about time to start mowing the yard. Yeah, that's. you going to come up mow my time. yard this year, Patrick? Sure, I'll, I did last year, so I'll come up this year. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's out mowing my yard. Push yeah. mower. Yeah, usually I, you know, take my shirt off and yeah. thrill the neighborhood. Get that yeah. oil on. Get the oil on and push the oil mower around. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Now that we've... well, Ran off every viewer, every viewer, every listener we've got. Yeah, well, it, it's two hours after lunch. Surely everyone's got that digested. And we're not bringing that up with that thought, that image in everyone's head. <laughs> I'll have it all weekend, thank you. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's good, though. <laughs> no, I'll go home and tell my wife, and she'll have it. <laughs> Just make the whole, uh, Tori's whole household sick. <laughs> all right. Thank you for tuning in again this week. You are listening to the cornerstone of the Libertarian Lighthouse Radio Network. That is the Patrick Riggins Radio Show. You have made it through another week of the fog of irrational arguments and unreasonable analysis 
Here you get the clean and refreshing analysis of the issues from a free American perspective. Not a Republican, not a Democratic one, but an American one fighting for our freedom and liberty. A lot of times when I'm out running around, I run into people who listen to this show, and they'll have suggestions on things I should do. One of them is, why don't I have a segment where we highlight government waste, highlight an area where government is wasting money? And that's a good suggestion. I get it over and over. The only thing that bothers me about doing that, though, is nothing ever gets done about it, ever. Personally, when I see a write-up about, oh, some program or something being brought brought bought by the government that's that's uh, wasteful i frequently chalk it up to the reporter having nothing to write about that day <laughs> government waste it's an easy story to do no real research is required because there's so much of it i think it is good to highlight government ways to try and get changes made but but they don't happen i can remember when i was a kid reading about hundred dollar hammers and thousand dollar toilet seats and that was years ago and yet today it's still happening So me, being a rational and logical person, I concluded those types of stories are not making any difference in what is going on in government. This leads me to to decide the solution is to educate people in freedom and liberty. If we start working towards more of that, we'll have less government, and thus, thus less government waste along with our increased amount of freedom. All right, we're up on the first break already. With the new daylight savings time. Tori is still trying to get caught up. <laughs> okay. All right. He's, he's got the computer running. There we go. <laughs> when we come back off break, we'll see if Tori can get us, navigate us back. Nope. <laughs> this is Patrick Rickens. We'll be back, hopefully, in a couple of minutes. 